Hey guys, it's Lisa and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to make a few items for fall or makeover. Uh, this uh, breadboard is uh, one that I bought in a, at a wholesale place that kind of makes things to look old. So this one isn't usable. It almost has like a waxy feel to it. Um, not so much that this paint didn't stick because it did, uh, but it just, I don't think that it was food safe at all. And they're so thin, so if you're not hanging them on a wall, they're really not a lot of use. Um, so I'm gonna make a pumpkin from this one. And I'm starting with uh, putting a coat of the Crackle Medium on it, and that's a Dixie Belle product, but you definitely don't have to use uh, that product. You can use uh, Elmer's glue instead. I, I've used it many times, and it works really well. You just paint the glue on there, a good thick coat, and then, uh, and then let that dry, and then put your paint over it. Now, when you're doing these crackle finishes, you need to put plenty of paint on your paintbrush because you're not going to get a second coat. So, you just want to uh, do one coat only and keep your strokes in the same direction. And uh, don't go back over a stroke if it doesn't, if it doesn't take at all or if it skips too much. Uh, then you can very carefully add just a little bit more, but you don't want to uh, overstroke any more than you have to. And here I've gotten some on the uh, stem part here, but uh, that wipes off easily because of whatever wax finishes on this. But anyway, so you give this one coat, and I'm purposely not painting the sides of this at all because my plan here is uh is to to make some of this decor as much of it as possible where it can be used year round after fall so um because i do decorate some for fall at home uh, but i don't like to have a lot of decor that can only be out during the holidays so um so this one, because I haven't painted the sides, uh, I'm spraying alcohol on that because it still had a little bit of a film on it. Uh, but um, after fall, you'll be able to turn this over and hang it on the wall as a washboard. I mean, not a washboard, as a breadboard still. Uh, and you won't see this white from the sides. So that's why I'm leaving the sides. It's gonna look just fine not having those painted. And now, as you can see, it's usable for the other side because the sides are not painted. So now we have our pumpkin um, painted. And I'm just gonna obviously leave this stem the brown. Uh, and I did mention that uh, when I painted that, uh, not only is it going to have that real pretty crackle finish, uh, but because uh, it wasn't completely covered, then you're going to get some of that brown showing through besides. So now I'm just tying some raffia grass and, and some uh, jute twine around the neck of it. And um, that dresses it up enough. And now I'm going to add some little leaves that I had taken off some fall uh, picks and I know these are probably not the shape of pumpkin leaves at all but uh, most people don't know their leaves when it comes to items like this and just getting some leaves that uh, work scale wise I feel like makes it look more like a pumpkin. So I'm just hot gluing those in place but I'm purposely not hot gluing to the washboard so this will be all completely removable uh, so that you can uh, use it after fall and then I feel like um, fall decor or a lot of fall decor looks uh, better with a rustic hang tag on it 
So, um, my friend brought me this um, scrapbook paper, and I'm finding a print that I like, and just cutting a uh, hang tag. So, I start out with just a rectangular shape, and then I fold it uh, lengthwise down the middle, and, and then cut a V uh, out of that, and that makes your hang tag. Uh, I'm hoping I have it in frame here where you can see. Yeah, I just cut that little V shape on the top, and then that makes your little hang tag. And you can do this out of any stiff um, paper. But now I'm stamping uh, the word fall, but I'm, I'm using a tiny leaf as my A, and I'm, I have the leaf upside down so that it's pointed on top and looks like, uh, well, mimics an A. Obviously, it doesn't look like an A, but as long as it mimics the A. And I feel like that just adds a little a little touch to it that adds more interest and this is a very quick little makeover and I know that most of you have uh, breadboards of some kind and whether they're long and narrow and not quite as wide as this one uh, I still feel like you have um, you have the look that you need for a pumpkin and I think that they would be really pretty if they were grouped together in different sizes and shapes. Now on this hang tag, I'm taking my brown ink pad and just kind of rubbing around those edges just to kind of give them a more aged look. And that just adds a lot to your hang tag. And I didn't mention that this is a two-part video because I had put a vignette of items together and I got them all completed, but I uh, just wasn't able to get my editing done in time. So I'll add the others uh, hopefully tomorrow. And now for the second item, uh, my sister uh, picked up this big vase at a yard sale. And uh, she thought I could paint it and, and maybe put a uh, stamp or stencil on it. And I, I thought about that, but I felt like this uh, needed some serious texture on it. So uh, I'm painting it here with the plan of uh, just adding a lot of texture to it and letting the main color be white. And um, so that's what I'm doing here. It's just putting a, a coat of the color Gravel Road, which is a Dixie Belle color. And then I started uh, with this paint. And here I haven't added texture to the paint yet. I'm just kind of trying to get some dimension and color. Um, but I got started painting this and and I don't know at what point you see it. You'll probably see it before I did uh, because I'm telling you, but I started to see a pumpkin. So, um, so I'm painting this and just kind of haphazardly painting, but keeping my, stri or my strokes in the same direction. Uh, and, but I'm careful to make sure some of the, the gray shows through. Now, had I known this was going to be a pumpkin, I probably wouldn't have even had to put that gray on it, but I did, and it, it still worked out. So I get my coat of the color buttercream, and, and now I decide, uh, actually decided I wanted texture on this anyway, uh, but I'm adding some texture here, and I'm adding quite a bit of texture. Uh, and using quite a bit of paint because I, I really want to load my brush down and just uh, really slap that texture on. Again, I'm still keeping my strokes in the same direction, but um, just really, really load your brush, and it's okay if you get drips. Uh, that actually is a plus because um, 
the drips just give this more texture and make it look even more like a pumpkin so uh, like I said I just added plenty of baking soda so uh, I mix my paint when I really want texture I mix my uh, paint half paint and half baking soda and when you first start stirring that up it seems like it's too thick uh, but just finish stirring it first before you add any more paint because uh, most likely it's not going to be too thick it's just that's just the um, process of getting it stirred up but but I'm just really really laying some texture on here and uh, I just add a little bit more all the time until I'm happy with the look now I do need to be careful that when I'm putting that texture on I don't take all that shading away and it almost looks like I am here but I was still left with plenty. I wanted this pumpkin to be white, but I just kind of wanted some dimension in white. And uh, what I've done here, after I did my butter cream, cream color, is I'm adding some white. And I'm just using um, an apple barrel paint here because I've already gotten that um, chalk paint on the base, so it's gonna stay well. And I'm just mixing just regular white apple apple barrel paint uh, with um, with baking soda, and that gives that buttercream another dimension in color. So you've got that gray underneath, and then you've got your buttercream, and now this is just a bright white, and it just keeps adding more dimension. So you want dimension in color as well as dimension in texture so um, I decided here that just like I did with the breadboard I'm just making this vase so that uh, it can still be used as a vase after fall so uh, you could take um, you could take what I'm going to be adding to this uh, off because it's going to be removable also and this will just be a textured white vase that you can put uh, just maybe some twigs in. So I guess this will have uh, kind of more of a boho look. And I think that even in more modern decor, uh, these textured vases are, uh, are popular right now. So I'm not doing anything that's going to limit it at all. And what I'm doing in adding the stem here is I've stuffed some, um, some moss down in the top. And I think this is just a Spanish moss. And I stuffed it enough to where when I put this stem in, this stem will be snug. But, um, but n now I don't have to glue it in. I could just stick it in there. And like I said, it's completely removable if uh, someone doesn't make want it looking like a pumpkin. Now, um, this is just a little twig, one of those little wired twigs, and I didn't buy this. I was given this in, in some leftover fall decor. So this is just one of those that is, is kind of wired, so I'm just kind of curling that because I want that curled twig look to just kind of hang down. So you, you wouldn't have to do this. You could use any kind of, um, any kind of um, leaves or, or whatever you wanted to put on it. Or you could just tie some raffia grass or uh, whatever. But I just wanted this to kind of add a little something to this. So I'm just wrapping that around. Also, again, I'm not attaching it permanently. And now I'm just going to glue some leaves. And I know I said glue, but what I'm doing is gluing them uh, around the stem there. So it still hasn't been glued to the vase. It's just I'm, I'm gluing to the things that I'm putting around the top. So it'll stay well uh, for your fall decor. But again, it doesn't limit this to just being a pumpkin. And again, I've just cut these leaves off some fall decor. 
And then I don't show it, uh, but I do uh, put a hang tag around the top of this one also. And uh, I decide to add a little bit of raffia grass because this is a rather large pumpkin and I felt like it needed a little something uh, hanging down. So just tied that around and uh, kept it underneath uh, my other decor around the top. And you would never know in looking at this that this is a vase. It just, when you look at it, it really looks like a pumpkin. And obviously you don't have to stick with this white. You could use oranges or any pumpkin color that you want. I just uh, really, really like my neutrals. And I'm zooming in on that texture there. And uh, I think that that little hang tag made a big difference. And all I did on it was just stamp a leaf. And then for my last item, I uh, thrifted this little bottle. And it's just in the shape of a leaf. And I tried to read what was on the bottom of it. Uh, and all it was just, all it said was something about patent pending. And I thought maybe it was an Avon bottle, but I couldn't find the name anywhere. Um, but I'm cleaning this with alcohol so that I can paint it. And I'm cleaning my hands also with alcohol because a viewer said that your hair, your oils from your skin can also keep paint from sticking. So I thought I would just be cautious. I just can't craft in gloves. So. Um, just had to clean my hands with that. And now I'm putting a coat of the Kohler Buttercream on this. And one coat, a generous coat, covers it well. And I didn't use, um, I didn't use anything to help this stick because I do want to uh, heavily distress this. So once I get this Buttercream on and let it dry well, uh, then it'll be ready for the next coat or the next step. So um, I let that dry and then I'm going to be using a brown glaze on this. And that brown glaze is going to uh, not only uh, give this more um, depth in color, uh, but it also is going to pull some of this paint off. So that omits me having to uh, use any sandpaper and um, or even do a wet distress. Because once I put this on and you'll see as I wipe it off, it starts to pull some of that paint off just enough uh, that I actually got just enough on the sides. But now in the front, I did have to do a little extra rubbing, but uh, it didn't take much, and I was able to get the look that I wanted. Now, as I mentioned before, there are a few other items uh, that I'm going to be uh, making over, and I'll get that editing done and hopefully get it done in time to post it tomorrow night. Uh, but you'll see in the end my little vignette, and so there's some other items that I haven't, or it won't be on this video, but they will be on the next one. So when I post that video tomorrow and you see that same thumbnail, it's not the same video, it's, it's a different one. It's just the remaining items uh, that are in that vignette. And then once I get this uh, little bottle, uh, wiped off then uh, I'm going to embellish the top of it by adding a little bit of raffia grass and torn fabric and just tie that around the top and add a hang tag and then it will be finished and I know I'm not really showing these hang tags but I'm hoping tomorrow to get a chance to do a close-up and and show some different hang tags um if I get a chance to, I'll add that to the video tomorrow. Because I think they just add a lot to uh, any holiday decor or any seasonal decor. I'm going to go ahead and add the little vignette uh, to the end of this video. Uh, even though some of those items I haven't yet uh, done 
uh, on video, but uh, th those will be the items that I'll add tomorrow. So here is the vignette that um, that I've been working on, and like I said, there's a few items there that um, that I will be putting on tomorrow. So, um, like I said, it may be I haven't decided for sure. It may be the same, the same thumbnail, but uh, don't mistake that for this one again because uh, I'll be finishing this one up. And there is one of the bottles that I'll be doing uh, tomorrow night. And I'll actually be doing a couple. And then, uh, and then I'm going to be decorating a clipboard. And you can just do so much with clipboards. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope to see you in the next. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening and God bless you and your family.